Cougar. Uh, Going to do a walk around and show you all the detail on the car. Uh, again, a 30,000 mile car, original. Doesn't look like there's been a bolt taken out on it ever. Um, starts very easy. I'm going to go ahead and lift the hood up and show you all around. Work the top. There's the windows, all work nice. All the windows work well. Here we are with our video. All the windows work up and down very nice. All the rubber is very good shape around the windows. Here we are, top down. Pull the lever, top down. Show you underneath the hood. Here we are, the um, 351 four barrel, brand new radiator, brand new hoses, top and bottom, radiator cap, brand new alternator, fan belt, brand new um, battery, brand new solenoid. It's all new recently. Have receipts for most all of that. Um, we mentioned earlier it has brand new halogen headlights as well. But, uh, this car is all original underneath. You can see everything there. The air conditioned uh, car, um, new plug wires, cap, uh, points, uh, etc. Uh, this is a four barrel car. Alright, I'm going to turn it off. We're going to walk around the rest of the car. Um, no indication it's ever had an accident or anything like that. I'll show you how nice the dash is. This car, again, from California, uh, is just absolutely nice how solid it is. Everything, the whole body. Um, the dash is perfect without a crack in it. Uh, so are the visors. All the rubber is in nice shape. Uh, surprisingly, again, a California car has the white buckets with the um, these cars have a vinyl seats with the leather inserts. So the center of the seat where you sit is leather. It's got the embossed Cougar. Um, very nice option. Again, tilt wheel. Both ways. AM, FM radio. Uh, it's got the short console, power windows, power top. The door has a little sag to it from age, but uh, again, it lines up nicely. The gaps are nice. Uh, looking to get this body again. Look how nice this car is. There's a little dent here. A little dent here. Uh, again, all the rubber's in good shape. I'm going to grab the trunk keys and show you inside the trunk. There's also, uh, it has a set of uh, rubber floor mats in the front that have the Cougar emblems on them. So those are original with the car how nice the trunk is all this is original no rusting uh, the lip is perfect all the way around there's not a dent on it it closes nicely even the trunk rubber is in good shape uh, inside you have the original spare bias ply spare um, with the jack and the uh, the jack handle cranked down on top of it there's the original license plate frame that came from the car san jose Joe Curley, Lincoln Mercury. Um, I want to be night, gentle in here, showing you inside of the trunk, not to damage the mat any more than it is. But um, you can see all this. I don't want to lift. I don't want to tear it. But the bottom of this car, it looks like this everywhere. Look, perfect. All that is in nice shape. You can see the unit down here. This works the sequential tail lights. Uh, the car has those blinking tail lights that, that are sequential turn signals. Again, look how nice underneath that trunk is. 
Uh, same way on this side, just beautiful shape. Here, you can see in there just how nice a shape everything is. All original. I don't want to pull the spare out, or I could. If you'd like to see more pictures, we can always get you more pictures. I can move the spare in a second. Show you it. There's the original spare, original jack. Again, looking underneath this car. A little bit of surface rust there, but look how nice that is. All original. Did I say that enough, Bob? All original, <laughs> rock solid. Okay, that's that. Now as we work our way down, again, look how nice these cars are. No rust. There is a mark on this little opening mole will need replaced. There are some dents over here on this side, as I mentioned before, but never been painted the car. Rock solid there. The doors, look how nice they are. The the uh, this car does have a lot of pitting on on the trim and the pot metal, so that should that's going to need addressed. Um, it's got both the sport mirrors on both sides. But look how nice again. We're going to get down low and look at this. I want to point this out. The bottom of the doors again. How nice the shape they are. And even the rubber on the door is in nice shape. It's not tore up. Uh, the door panels are very nice on this car. All original. Carpeting is in nice shape. Yeah. How nice the carpet is. And the seats are, you know, they've got some wear on them, but they're they're not bad. Um, you can see, you know, the seat belts do work. Uh, inside the glove box is in good shape. Again, close the door. Look how nice that closes. Nice gaps. Closes very nicely. There is a dent in the front of this door, right in this area. I also pulled the body. They just had rubber body side moldings, like aftermarket moldings on them. I pulled them off because they were falling off. And uh, this one I had to scrape the glue off. It, there you are. Look at the bottom of the fender. Perfect condition. The bumpers on this car should be replaced if you're going to paint it. Um, they're not perfect. There's some rust on them. But they're straight. Well, that's it. That's a wrap. And, uh... Here we're driving the 73 Cougar. It um, has all the bells and whistles. Tachometer, power seats. I'm sorry, power windows, tilt wheel. Uh, AM FM radio console shift uh, the, the dash this car's from California and look at the dash it was kept inside most of the time or under shelter I should say the dash is perfect with no cracks the steering wheel is perfect with no cracks neat place where the horn is around the ring um, the car drives really nice so it drives nice and straight down the road. Power steering's nice. Big old 70s car. Shifts through all the gears very nice. Um, all the brakes are new. The front calipers, the uh, rear wheel cylinders, tires are new. This car's unmolested. Nothing's ever been changed on it. And um, you can see I got my hand off the steering wheel. She's driving perfectly straight. Hit the brakes, it stops nice and straight. Big old car. Turn signals, self canceling. They are the uh, sequential turn signals, the ones that blink across the back. We'll show you that in a video. Again, the car only has 30,321 miles on it. The owner, uh, the previous owner owned it since 1975. It was two years old when he bought it.
dual exhaust factory, factory four barrel. Videoing the underside of the 73 Cougar convertible. Uh, again, the car came from, lived its whole life in California and uh, was purchased in the San Jose area and uh, lived in San Diego for the last 30 years. Uh, the same owner since 1975. Again, Southern California car or California car. Uh, look at the, how solid everything is. Um, we're gonna start here. Um, as you can see, we mentioned before, there's brand new brake hoses in the front, brand new calipers, brand new tires. I see a brand new fuel pump. Um, I also have receipts for the, a brand new timing chain, a water pump, and timing chain gears. I'm not sure if the person did it just for the sake they were changing the water pump and went ahead and did the timing chain gears and chain uh, for maintenance. I don't know, again, only 30,000 miles in a car. I can't see how it would have needed it, but maybe he did it for out of, uh, just, uh, well, since he was there. Anyways, look at the frame rails on this car, just rock solid. Um, there's no, no dampness under this car. The only place I did see a little bit is around the oil pan in the front. Just very, very minor dampness. Everything else is very dry. Um, we're gonna work our way back. And uh, again, over here on the sides, of the, look at the frame rails where I'm pointing. I mean, this is just as solid as can be. The floor pans, solid as can be. Um, very little undercoat, but, but there is the sound deadening is from the factory, um, but nothing. I mean, it's just rock solid. Um, I know there's a, a new oil pan on the transmission as well as the, um, I believe that's the C6 transmission. I'm not uh, sure. Anyways, look at the torque boxes on this side as well. With, turn around get behind me. Uh, there we are again, solid everywhere. Solid floor pans, solid frame rails. Nothing's been changed on this car. Uh, I don't see a bolt has been taken out. It has the factory dual exhaust. There you are from the wipe or the front um, pipes coming all the way back and an H pipe as I'm pointing at. Factory exhaust. Floor pans are perfect. Working our way back, you can see the mufflers are still marked Ford Motor Company on them. It's the original exhaust, mufflers, hangers, nothing's been changed. Look again how solid this car is. The frame rails are beautiful. Working our way back, the springs are in good shape. Um, you can see again, the dual exhaust all the way to the rear. Um, perfect shape, factory original. Here we are here looking at the inner quarter panels, just rock solid. Um, around the back um, you notice a new gas tank and that's because the car sat for 30 years so the um, new gas tank was installed with the sending unit in it and uh, hoses working our way around over here again you can see inside the back of the trunk or the uh, bumper panel everything looks great never a bolt out on this car look at the inner wheel wells here inner quarter panels are just Again, rock solid. Look at the frame rails. You could eat off them. Um, you could notice the also the new wheel cylinders in the back, as I mentioned, new brake hoses. Um, all the brake lines are like, look at this brake line. It's like the day it was new. That's the original with the uh, wire on them. Again, looking at the wheel wells in this car, very nice. You can look up in there. Look at the, uh, the frame, it's just beautiful shape. Um, you see the big rear end they put in the car, that's the factory, everything just as it came. Well, that's about it, uh, looking at the underside of the car. So, uh, dry as a bone, California car. All right, that's okay, it. Here we are looking at the front sides of the car. Just wanted to get a good view while it's on the lift. And um, there are all brand new halogen headlights in the car. Uh, all brand new halogens. But look at the uh, bottom of this car. Um, 
as you know, it needs painted. But look at this. Solid. Look at the bumper. Uh, it looks like the bumper absorbers have been replaced. Maybe a warranty or something. But that's a brand new bumper absorber. There's still a sticker on it. Um, not sure about that, but it looks brand new. Those are encased in rubber, so it has an impact. And um, working our way back, you can, again, look up inside this wheel well. Can you get a picture of that, Bob? Look inside that wheel well, how rock solid that is. All the way around these inner panels. That's plastic. But look at that, just perfect. On the bottom side of the car, again, metal, all solid. This car is a nice paint job. This would be a gorgeous car. Working our way back again, all the way to the bottom of the doors, solid. I'll show you that when we do the inside of the video. Uh, the underneath the door jams are very nice. Again, look back here, the inner wheel wells, dry as a bone, no rust, all the way around. Look at the bottom of the quarter panel here. Look. Solid as can be. The back balance pan is in nice shape, it's not bent. The car would need a nice paint job, and uh, chrome bumpers need to be replaced. And they're not that expensive. I checked on them. They're only about 200 for the, uh, I think the front and the back was like 300. So they're not too expensive. It's not a huge bumper. I'm gonna go around this way, Bob. Start back there again. On this back quarter panel, there's some dents. Right on this quarter panel, a little bit of denting in here. Uh, not real bad. Not even real noticeable, but again, look at the rust-free body. Up underneath the wheel well, as dry as can be. You get that good? Yeah. Okay. Again, the bottom of the door, perfect. And uh, rocker panels, everything, nice and straight. Bottom of this fender, metal. There you are. Look at the inner fender on this. Up underneath, just dry as can be. All right, that's it. That's a wrap.